Thanks for logging on to the TeamCast for the week of Monday, April 5th through Friday the 9th. Hello, I'm Mr. Andrews. And I'm Ms. Worst. And here's what's happening on our team this week. Hello, fabulous fifth graders of Pawville and Wild Worst. Welcome to the fourth quarter. I can't believe it. It's the time has gone very fast. Even though we started out the year with remote learning, being face to face has been some uh, has posed some challenges, but all in all, it's been a great learning year and we're going to finish it off really strong in ELA and social studies for the fourth quarter. We will be studying the Civil War. So we will be looking at a lot of informational text and some historical fiction as well. This is going to be our core text. We will also get uh, a new FPO, which we will be using to outline and um, do some research, take notes on our final project. We will also be exploring and discussing the various causes and effects of the Civil War. And it will also get us ready to uh, not only become experts in the history and the issues of this time, but we'll also be uh, researching a person that really stands out in this time period and help us prepare for the argumentative or opinion piece of writing that we will do. This will be um, the ARC unit as well as a big part of our social studies unit right now. We will be doing some uh, a really neat simulation activity um, and again, we'll be looking at pictures, we'll be sharing uh, documents, we'll be looking at all kinds of um, interesting writings um, from both sides of the Civil War. So I look forward to learning the, this time period with you and working on finishing up the year in this great uh, topic of ours. And don't forget to bring in your precept if you haven't done so. We are going to start the, uh, the week next week with a look at our precepts and a wrapping up of the wonder. And it will lead us nicely into our uh, informational unit as well. Looking forward to uh, seeing everybody again. I hope you had a wonderful spring break and that you enjoyed some of your happy places as I did mine. Hello parents and fifth grade students. As we begin the fourth nine weeks in math, we're going to do so with a focus on multiplying unit fractions with unit fractions and unit fractions with non-unit fractions. Yes, we're still in module four and our concentration this week is in lessons 13 through 16. We don't have a quiz for the week, but we will have daily checkups with the exit ticket after each lesson this week. In science, we continue with our ecosystems unit, and we're gonna be discussing things like food webs, food chains, how are they alike and how are they different? Also, how are populations connected and how do populations compete for food? We'll be bringing up lots of new ecology vocabulary. One of those is gonna be predator and prey. We talked about cicadas before the break. I have learned what the prey is for cicadas, or at least one in a food web or food chain that would compete for the cicada. And we'll be talking about that this coming week as a spotlight. Hey everybody, it is time for Worst Wow. I wanna give a shout out for those people who did send in the correct answers to my last worst wow feature of which one doesn't belong. Uh, this was dark clouds, rain, sun, and lightning. If you guessed sun, that was correct because the other ones are for stormy weather. Australia, South America, France, Europe. It was France. France is not a continent. Number three was piglet, sow, boar, gosling. It was gosling because Gosling is not in the Piggy family. And the last one, Yankees, Red Sox, Bears, and Orioles. If you chose Bears, you were correct. Bears is not a baseball team. Go Tigers, by the way. 
Um, anyway, a worthwhile feature for the next couple of times is going to be poetry. April has been designated as Poetry Month, but I love poetry anytime. But I thought I would um, have a little poetry palooza for our worst while for the next couple of times together. So I want to share with you a poem, one of my favorites. Um, it's very appropriate for this time of year, and it's by John Foster, and it's called It's Spring. It's spring, and the garden is changing its clothes, putting away its dark winter suits, its dull scarves, and drab brown overcoats. Now it wraps itself in green shoots, slips on blouses sleeved with pink and white blossoms, pulls on skirts of daff daffodil and primrose, snowdrop socks and purple crocus shoes, then dances in the sunlight. So I have two questions for you with that poem. What is John comparing? What two things is John comparing in the poem? And can you tell me what kind of figurative language or what kinds of figurative language John uses in that poem? Such fun with poetry, and we'll share some of those things in our classroom together during ELA and IE time. And maybe you will be inspired to write your own poetry, whether it's about spring or anything. So, worse wow, have fun with poetry, and we'll see you next time.